Here's a problem where we're going to calculate the average of three numbers. One and seven ninths, two and five ninths, and three and one sixth. Now the average is a measure of the middle of the numbers, and it will always fall somewhere in between the smallest one and the largest one. So our average will fall between one and seven ninths, which is the smallest, and three and one sixth, which, which is the largest. But there's really not much more I can guess about the average just by looking at those numbers as written. We need to go through the calculation. Now calculating an average is a two-step process. First, in step one, we need to add the fractions, add the numbers together. So I'm going to take one and seven ninths, two and five ninths, and three and one sixth, and add them. In order to add these three, I need a common denominator for my fractions. And let's see, my denominators are two nines. I have a nine here and a nine here, and a six. Why don't you try to guess what the common denominator is before we go ahead and calculate? To calculate the common denominator, we're going to find the LCM of 9 and 6. To find the LCM, I need to factor my denominators, 9 and 6, into primes. 9 factors as 3 times 3. 6 the other denominator that I have here factors as 2 times 3. And now I'm ready to put together the factors of my LCM. First, let's think about the 2's. There are no factors of 2 in the 9, 1 in the 6, so I need a factor of 2. 9 has two factors of 3. 6 has just one factor of 3. The most 3's that I see is in the 9, so I need those 2. And now I'll multiply 2 times 3 times 3 together. 2 times 3 is 6 times 3 is 18. There's my LCM. That's the common denominator that I'm going to use. Now let's see here. I have 1 and 7 ninths is going to become 1 and so many eighteenths. In order to rewrite 7 ninths with denominator 18, I need to multiply that 9 below by 2. Whatever I do below, I got to do above. I also have to multiply the 7 by 2 to get 14. So I have 1 and 14 eighteenths. 2 and 5 ninths, I'm going to rewrite as 2 and so many eighteenths. It also has denominator 9, so 9 times 2 will give me the common denominator 18. Up above in the fraction, I also multiply by 2. 5 times 2 will give me 10. 2 and 10 eighteenths is what I have here. Down below, for my third number, I have 3 and 1 sixth. That's 3 and so many eighteenths. 6 I need to multiply by 3 to get that denominator 18. So up above the 1, I multiply by 3. 1 times 3 is 3. So now I'm ready to add my three numbers together uh, since I have a common denominator for the fractions. 14 plus 10 is 24 plus 3 more is 27. I have 27 eighteenths. The whole number parts I also add together. 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 3 is 6. So my sum is 6 and 27 eighteenths. Now we need to simplify this sum. I can reduce the fractional part 27 over 18. Let me recopy the 6 and 27, I can write as 9 times 3. Over 18 is 9 times 2. I can cancel a factor of 9 above and below. That gives me 6 and 
three halves. The fractional part is reduced, but it's also more than one whole. So I want to rewrite my mixed number here. Three halves is one and a half. So the one whole I add to the six to get seven, and then I have one half more, seven and a half. So, so far, we're at this point, we have the sum of the three numbers, seven and a half. And that's the end of the first step. Let's move on to our second step now, step two. In step two, we divide. We take what we got when we added the three numbers together. We got seven and a half. And we're going to divide by how many numbers we added up in the first place. We had one, two, three. So we're dividing by three. Seven and a half divided by three. To do this division now, I need to rewrite seven and a half as an improper fraction. Two times seven is 14 plus one is 15. That's 15 halves divided by three. I'll write as three over one. 15 halves divided by three over one. That's 15 halves times, I invert the second, times a third. And before I multiply here, let's see if we can cancel. I can rewrite 15 as five times three. That's over two times a third. I can cancel a three above and below here. So I end up with five times one is five over two. And we're just about done. But once again, we have a fraction that's more than one whole. So we want to rewrite this as a mixed number. Two goes into five twice with one left over. So that's two and a half. That's our final answer here. That's going to be the average of the three numbers we started out with.